Hi, this is Peter from Magnetic Speaking. We're a public speaking training company here in San Francisco. Now today I wanted to shoot this video because there are a lot of misinformation out there around public speaking and statistics around public speaking fear. And I wanted to shed some light on what's, what's the truth out there. So the number that's floating on the web is 75% and they claim that 75% of you, the US population is afraid of public speaking. And initially when I looked at it, I was like, okay, that's possible. And then I started to dig deeper into the numbers and I couldn't find any source <clears throat> to validate this. So I did my own research, I dug deeper into the numbers and here's what I have. Now, what we have is that 7% of the US population is afraid of public speaking. Now there are degrees of fear, this, is, this encompasses everything. So 7% of the US population is afraid of public speaking and if you break it down to male, female, then it looks like 6% of the male population is afraid of public speaking and 8% of the female population in the US is afraid of public speaking. Now you can break that down into demographics, ethnicities, different zones in the US, different states, and you will get different numbers, but this is the overall average across all the states. Now, not to diminish this number, 7% is still a huge number. This is a large population. If you convert it to a number of people, that would make up for 26 million people. 26 million people in the US, in the United States, in the US, that are afraid of public speaking. That's huge. Now, let's dig into the numbers even more because there's some more information that could be enlightening to you. Now, let's look on the dampening effect. You intuitively know that public speaking fear can affect your career, right? Now, let's see if there's scientific evidence that proves that. I found some studies that show there's a dampening effect on your wage, on your graduation rate if you're a college student, and also in your moving into management. The studies show that there's a 10% dampening effect on your wage, which means if you have public speaking fear, most likely you are getting paid 10% less than your peers who are not afraid of public speaking. That's huge. Let's say you make 100K per year, which means you are getting paid $10,000 less than your peers. If you're making 150, that's 15K. If you're making 200K, that's $20,000 per year less than your peers who are not afraid of public speaking. Second is graduation. Now, most of our clients are professionals working in a corporate, in corporate life and their ambition is to become leaders in their organization. So this might not apply to you, but it could apply to a brother of yours or it could apply to your son or daughter. It's really good to pay attention to this because it shows that people who have public speaking fear are 10% less likely to graduate from college than their peers who are not afraid. So that's an important number. Now, since you're a professional and you want to move up the corporate ladder, this final number is very important to you. It says that public speaking fear has a 15% dampening effect on your ability to get promoted. So, which means you're 15% less likely to get promoted than your peers who don't have any issues with public speaking fear. Make sense? So, that's a huge number and it's really important to handle your public speaking fear and anxiety because it's holding you back in so many ways. Now, I want to share with you one last statistic for this video and that's the 8% number. This number was shocking for me because there are studies out there that show that only 8% of people who have public speaking fear, despite all the negative effects, the intuitive and non-intuitive that you know about, only 8% seek professional help to develop their public speaking skills and raise their public speaking confidence. That was a shocker for me, only 8%. Now, I know you're not part of this 8% and I congratulate you for that. That's why you're listening to these videos. You're seeking professional help. You want to improve. You want to improve your career. You want to improve your life. You're doing it for yourself, for your family, for your future. And I appreciate that. 
Now, I wrote a blog article, Tip Tuesday. It's called Tip Tuesday, and it goes into these numbers into details. I'm gonna link to that article somewhere here on this page, and make sure you find it and read the details. Thank you, and see you soon.